tidy ho my peeps I'm making a kind of a late night video um, in response to a newer subscriber who asked me if I could recommend some channels of people women over the age of 60 who were into crafts um, this particular subscriber, her name is Linda, and she said that she's into crafts. She likes to watch videos of people who are just living their lives honestly, and um, they're upfront about the different struggles that they have to go through. She is into making purses and sewing and using her cry cut machine. Okay, so I thought to myself, you know, I haven't done like a full on shout out video in a long time. And this is the perfect prompt for me to do that. So, <sighs> dozens, I've got dozens of favorite channels. How do I choose? Well, what I did is I sort of narrowed it down based on her criteria. So there are plenty of chan channels that I'm not shouting out that I watch all the time. I will give you an example. Leanne Live, watch her all the time. She's one of my best buddies. We hang out in real life. Um, and I'm mentioning her now, but she wasn't like on the on the actual list because she's a little bit younger. She doesn't do all the craft stuff and all that. So I'm trying to stick within um, the interests of this particular viewer. So this is in no particular order. Oh, and also let me say, um, if you want me to shout out your channel, leave it in a comment below because I think what I'm going to do is some more of these shout out videos where I kind of group the channels. Like for example, Leanne's, Leanne Live. Leanne's channel, it's kind of humorous. Um, talks, she talks a lot about her family. She does a lot of um, haul videos, shopping videos. She does videos from restaurants where she and her family go to eat. She does uh, um, videos um, sometimes at the, at the beach because she lives near the ocean. But um, her criteria fell outside of the range of what Linda was trying to find. So even though I'm mentioning her now, her channel would be in a different category of favorites mentioned. So leave a comment. If you're not on this list, but you would like to be, like me to consider you for another um, one of these, I will. Okay, so again, no particular order, except for that I'm starting with my favorite. <laughs> um, the absolutely inimitable Jan Creason. I love Jan. She is the most down-to-earth person. She's an excellent cook. Most of her videos are cooking videos. She does some thrift haul videos too that I really enjoy watching. Um, the thing with Jan is she's the mo she's got this calming presence. Her voice, um, everything about her is just full-on real and also uh, calming. I just love her. She's an angel. So Jan Creason is, is the first one. Oh, and look down um, in the down bar. Everybody's going to be listed, hopefully with a link to like either their channel or their latest video, something like that. Okay, so next up is Over 50 and Fantabulous. Um, that would be Lynn's channel. Boy, I've been following Lynn for a long time. Um, she'd been living on the East Coast. Um, moved to uh, the, I think she's she's on the West Coast now somewhere, and um, talk about keeping it real. Um, Lynn, at least when she was um, living on the East Coast and working, she was doing factory work, just, you know, keeping the money and the wheat to both end at the same time was a struggle for her. Uh, she has um, just incredible style. I mean, she can go into a Goodwill and come out looking like a million bucks. Um, she's, she is the person who actually inspired me to start doing the Dollar Tree videos. And the reason is because, you know, she would do videos sometimes. One I remember in particular, she'd come home, it was late at night, she was tired and hungry, and she just pulled a few bags of Dollar Tree food out of the freezer and took something down off the shelf, and she put together a really nice meal for herself for about $3. And I thought, dang, 
that's a niche. I could do that. I could do $3 dinners. So it was because of Lynn at Over 50 and Fantabulous that I started doing them in the first place. So um, she's another another person. She's, um, oh, and incidentally, everybody that I'm mentioning is super positive too. I was trying to choose people that didn't, um, didn't have a negative spin to who they are. I watch some people that have a negative spin too, and no, I'm not going to tell you who they are because I don't want to badmouth anybody. But I'm st this was all about positivity, so that's what that's what this list is. So anyhow, I love Lynn. Go watch her. Um, the next one is actually a man. His name is Roy, and the name of his channel is Bootsy Sweet Tarts. Again, he's another positive person in our age group. Um, a retired teacher does he's really into crafts and sewing and stuff um, I can't remember if he's much into cooking I can't recall that but he's another person who has this really calm peaceful sort of vibe um, kind of nostalgic sort of vibe going on just the nicest guy I enjoy him so much so um, Please check out check check out Roy over at Bootsy Sweet Tarts. Then I've got Steffi's Beads and Baubles. I just love Stephanie. She's another sweet, um, positive person. She focuses her channel focuses on uh, bead crafts. She does um, these little Christmas ornaments that have been. She uses a cookie cutter to cut out the the outline and then she beads the insides um, she does like in a pave sort of of um, a technique so it's all beads and sequence on the inside of these things I just is extremely nostalgic looks like something you know some special thing your grandmother would have made in the 1950s that you've been treasuring all these years that's what Steffi's uh, stuff looks like um, she does other things as well but she, uh, I was really, um, I was just really drawn to these ornaments that she makes. In fact, it was sort of because of her that I did the felt ornaments that I did this past Christmas. So she really inspired that. Um, she also does some interesting thrift hauls, and she's going to be opening up her Etsy store or eBay store, I'm not sure which, um, sometime in the not too distant future. Another person who relaxes me and whose positivity I, I sort of soak up. Um, my next one is Susie Q. Susie uh, lives over in the hill country of the south. Um, forgive me, Susie. I can't remember if it's the Carolinas or Kentucky or Tennessee. It's one of those beautiful mountainous areas in the southern United States. And um, she lives up on, up on a hill. And down at the bottom of this hill, you can see a, uh, like a river or a stream that runs through. And then back on the other side of, I think it's an interstate. On the other side, there's all these gorgeous mountains. I mean, she lives in this just idyllically pretty place. And Susie likes to tell stories um, of her past, her early marriage, um, just lots of interesting um She's a storyteller, and I and I enjoy listening to listening to her kind of spin these yarns about about her life, um, particularly in the past. Um, she also um, she does a lot of uh, makeup looks, but she's she's not a makeup channel per se. It's just she is she's a very pretty woman, and she's also always well you know well groomed. Darling outfits, cute makeup, all cute hair, all that kind of stuff. So there's that's there's kind of that spin on what she does. But she's another person who I really enjoy listening. I listening to her. I enjoy listening to her um, positive, peaceful voice. Just lovely, a lovely person. Okay, next on the list would be um, Bealtaine Cottage. Now. Bealtaine Cottage um, is 
is a channel of a woman who lives in Ireland. This woman is fascinating. I don't know how many years ago it was. She moved to this little um, a small house there was there with a barn there was kind of nothing around it there wasn't a lot of planting or anything and she has come in and turned this place into an a magical homestead where she's planted lush gardens and put in all sorts of interesting um kind of uh, garden art she has a a hoop house that she built that she calls the tunnel and it's the greenhouse and she you know she has the plants that require that kind of um, protection in there um, and but she's just plants just cheek to jowl with plants um, she does a lot of video from the inside of her home and I love it when she does those because she always has a candle like I've got back here. Um, often she'll have the fireplace going. Um, I'm guessing she lives in a rather coldish, dampish kind of place. It's all I can figure. But just the mood of the inside of her house when she's talking about whatever interesting thing she happens to be talking about, it draws you in. It, it gives me the same feeling as the mood that I get when I watch the movie Practical Magic, the inside of that house and that just magical sort of enchanted feeling. That is how her videos make me feel. So um, she has a very easy to listen to voice as well. Um, so uh, check her out. I, I really, really like Biltane Cottage. Um, another one, it's another man. His, uh, the name of his channel is Carl's Vlogs. Now, Carl is a guy who lives in England, out in the countryside. Um, he takes care of his mom and dad, who are both elderly, because, I mean, he's our age, so naturally they're going to be in their 90s, undoubtedly, or maybe late 90s. And... Um, he has two German Shepherds, Max and Misty, and he does some interesting things um, for his, you know, his income. He does several different things. I think he's a lorry driver. I think he drives truck um, occasionally. Um, he does um, um, DJ work, like at weddings and things, and he also rents wedding cars. I think he has a Rolls Royce and maybe a couple other cars as well that he decks out and rents you know, for um, events, weddings primarily. Here again is another really positive, honest, calm sort of person. His videos focus on um, the dogs. You know, he'll take them out for walks and he'll walk you around in the gorgeous countryside. Sometimes he'll do funny challenge videos or he'll do videos... Um, that feature may be an event that he's been to. Sometimes he'll, his um, his videos will feature cooking, pr primarily for his parents. He just, he's just one of those people that when you watch his videos, you just feel good. It's just another feel good kind of person. Um, and every, everyone, yeah. Every single person on this list that I'm talking to you about now, they all tend to have calm, quiet voices. I don't know why I was, why that ended up being the common denominator of everybody, but that's what that's the one thing that they all share. And I will listen to these people in order to bring myself down, relax, just like a lot of you will listen to me to do the same thing. So there you go. So after Carl, I want to talk about um, my friend Cindy at Old Broad. Cindy's such an interesting woman. She was um, a theater director. That's what she did for work when she was working. Um, she recently, I think you remarried your ex-husband, right? Right, Cindy? I think that's what it was. Richard. Um, you guys are blissfully happy. Um, she does makeup videos. 
uh, sometimes. She does uh, just videos talking about stuff. Um, the most recent video she did that I watched was a like a front yard tour where you got to see um, all of the stuff that she planted in her yard. And I had left a comment and said, wow, you know, your yard is looking so beautiful, so lush with all these plants. And she lives down south as well, where things grow vigorously. And she says, you know, you were my inspiration for that. She said, I'd seen your gorgeous front yard. And I thought, well, if you can do it, I can do it. Well, of course, my front yard is a total wreck. Nothing's alive, but I think one rose bush and a pine tree. And I think that's all that all that survived, <laughs> so survived me not being able to go out and take care of it. That's what I mean, because I haven't, I haven't done much caretaking on my yard, and you know, at all since my mom died, um, which I need to do as soon as I'm able. I'm not able now. So anyhow, um, Cindy is another person with a calm, quiet voice. I love it when she talks about her past, her childhood, um, her college years, that kind of stuff. Um, just lovely. Okay, let's see who else do I have on this list. Okay, so the last person on the official list, well, I've got two more. Um, Susan over at Little Poet. Now, Susan is does a lot of videos having to do with her home. She talks a lot about aging and about coping with stuff. She talks about, um, she does absolutely marvelous uh, thrift hauls. They're wonderful. Um, again, another calm, quiet, relaxing, positive person. Susan stands out because of all of us, everyone on this list, myself, and most of the other videos I watch, Susan's have the highest production value. And what I mean by that is her thumbnails, her camera work, the uh, any music she might use, her, um, uh, when she overdubs her voice, uh, like when she's, when she's shopping and then she's narrating what she's doing. All of that, oh, she's a musician in it as well. All of that makes these little perfect um, miniature films. And that's the best way to explain it because they're art. Her videos are art. Um, and I, uh, I will also tune into her if I'm needing to bring myself down from feeling bad. Um, I also want to mention Soulful Tea. I started watching her because um, of her cooking, but she's really branched out into doing a lot more daily vlogging stuff. She does a lot of live uh, videos now as well. And the reason I'm mentioning her is because she's just full of positivity. Just the most upbeat, giggly, um, positive, woman and I love listening to her. I love it when she cooks even though I can't be eating that stuff right now <laughs> and I just find her delightful. Now I'm going to min mention a bonus channel as well and this is specifically for crafts. I think this this gal has some of the best craft ideas I've ever seen. Um, at least they're in my genre of things I like that I would make or I would want to teach somebody else to make or that I would buy at a craft show. And the name of her channel is Happy Birds Glitter Nest. So if you want to see someone who does excellent craft videos on really interesting things, check out Happy Birds Glitter Nest. Okay, there you go. There's my first list of shout outs. Again, make a note in the comments below saying that you would like me to consider your channel. And, you know, I can start making lists of channels that I can group together because they happen to sort of fit fit in one category or another. So, um, there we go, Linda. I hope that um, I hope that helped you, and that you can visit all of these people and give their channels a little spin around the block and see what you think. Okay, you guys, that's all for tonight. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.